Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a heat map using Python. These have become more popular and data visualizations and we can create one of these very easily. This one was created in Python and then the other images in the background was all put together in Power BI. So let's get started by moving over to our Jupyter Notebook. So we definitely have some dependencies here that we need to bring in. We're going to load in some of the normal packages like pandas, matplotlib, and seaborn. So let's get started by adding those. So now that I've loaded in all the packages that I, that I need, I don't really need NumPy, but I just loaded it in there as a default. So now let's go and get our data set. I'm going to save it under the variable df, and it's a CSV of Game of Thrones. I'm going to put in my file name, which is And let's look at the head of that data by using the head function on our new data frame variable. So now that we have our data frame, there's a lot of different columns here. And I'm not interested in all of these. I am just interested in the number of seasons, the episode number. Um, in the IMDB rating. So what we can do is create a pivot table to give us the data that we want. So I'm just going to call, call our new variable ratings. Then I'm going to use the pandas pivot table functions to bring in what I want. And if you don't know what parameters or what information you need to put in these functions, you can press shift tab. And if you press shift tab very quickly, three times, it will open up all the information that you need in that function and also give you all the documentation for it. So we're creating a standard pivot table. DF is our data. And then our values, we already know what our values are. We want that to be our IMDB ratings. And just to make this easier, because these columns are a little bit long, I'm going to go back up and make another cell. And then I'm just going to use the df.columns and run that so I can get all of the column names so I don't have to write them in. So I want the IMDB ratings which is here and it's positional so I don't have to actually write values in. But we do need to encase it in parentheses. And then for my index, I would like the season. So I'm going to go back up and just copy season. And for our column, I'm going to choose the episode number in the season and run that. Now we have a pivot table, so let's take a look at it by using the head and to see if it's in the format that we want. So now we have our number in the season, the season, and all our ratings for that. All we have to do is create a heat map based on them. Now that we have this data, we can use the Seaborn package heat map to visualize our data. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is SNS is because that's what we save Seaborn variable as. And we're gonna go heat map. So we know what our data is. It was just our ratings variable. And for right now, let's leave things as is and run that. And you can see that we already have a heat map. Now we can stylize this heat map in the way we want. I would like to have annotations to tell me what the numbers are here. So we can use the annotation parameter here and shift tab. If you shift tab three times, it'll come up. Now we have annotations here. So I'm going to add that variable and I'm going to say equals true that parameter. And let's take a look. Now we have all our ratings there. And I would also like lines here. Very easy. You can just put the line width here. So I can just simply copy that. Bring it up here, comma. And I'm going to change that to a 1 instead of a 0. And of course, we can change the figure size if we want to by using matplotlib figure function. I'm going to say fig size equals, and then we can set the inches. So I'm going to put 12 by 8. So that is how you will create your heat map. And of course, you can do a C map, which is a color map. And I'm going to just put that last one in and then say C map equal cool warm. And I'm going to run that. And we may not want those colors. So you can easily go over to you can easily go to the matplotlib site and see all the color maps that you can just easily enter in. Now I'm going to just copy and paste some code that I put in to save some time. I used the matplotlib title to change the title here. I used a variable to save the size and then I used the matplotlib RC to change the size of our font and the size of the title. And then last, we use plt.savefig to save this as a transparent background. And you can see it's gotten much bigger. You can play around with the size and then once you get everything in the format that you like, you can copy and paste this into Power BI, move it around, and we would just be bringing these images in as images. I hope that helps. Thank you.